I realize that history and dates are not the most exciting thing to learn about, but I also realize that many players of Dungeons and Dragons computer games, specifically games based in the Forgotten Realms, which are incidentally almost all of them, don't necessarily have a background in pen and paper, and have not read all the novels and poured through all the manuals and handbooks released over the years, which is why in part I make the videos I make. To this end, I wanted to give a basic overview of how dates work in the Forgotten Realms, as well as a basic outline of the history, how the denizens of this world divide up their past, in order that the player of Baldur's Gate 3 and related games might get a sense of the setting he finds himself in. Now obviously I doubt that BG3 will be inundated with dates, but there certainly will be historical references scattered throughout the game, and having a general sense of how time, history, and dates work in the Forgotten Realms will come in handy. So without further ado, let's begin. One of the abbreviations I'm sure you've seen and heard again and again is the abbreviation DR. DR stands for Dale Reckoning, but this in itself tells you nothing about what the term Dale Reckoning means and why it's significant. The Dale Reckoning refers to the joint erection of the Standing Stone by the Elves of the Empire of Cormanthir and the humans of the Dale Lands, symbolizing a rarely achieved peace and unity between the Elves and humans as relations between the two races have not always been the best and have sometimes been strained. And the Standing Stone, a large stone obelisk, was raised to mark a new time of alliance between the races, which was significant enough to lead to widespread use of the Dale Reckoning calendar throughout Faerun, even though other systems can be used and are in use, though they tend to be far more regional and limited in their application, and thus you're less likely to come across them in historical accounts. The raising of the Standing Stone took place unsurprisingly in 1DR, and Baldur's Gate 3 takes place in 1492DR, or 1,492 years later. When referring to dates that took place before the Dale Reckoning calendar, one uses a minus sign, so the fall of the magical empire of Netheril is dated to minus 339 DR, or 1,831 years before the present, or alternatively 339 BDR, which stands for before Dale Reckoning. So there we have the dating system, and should you encounter it in your readings on the Forgotten Realms or in your game, you should now have a better idea of how it works and what time frame it refers to. But Faroonian history is also divided into ages, huge stretches of time that are often characterized by an extremely important series of events or the preeminence of certain cultures and races in the history of Faerun. And to get a sense of what these are, we should take a quick dive into these as well. The most ancient period of Toril's history that has been documented is referred to as the Days of Thunder and begins far back in time at around 35,000 BDR when a great ice age had come to an end. It was a time when Faerun was fundamentally different because it did not exist as such. Instead, a supercontinent, Merorobarus, existed, and the ruling races of the time were quite different and alien to anything that is familiar to a modern citizen of Faerun. It was the time of the so-called creator races, so named because they were the first races native to Toril, and because they gave rise to many of the races of today. These were the Saruk, a reptilian creator race, forgers of the first great empire, and creators of the Yonti, Naga, lizard folk, and other serpent-like and reptilian folk. Then there were the Batraki, who were an amphibian race that ruled a large empire just after the Saruk and gave rise to many amphibious races of the day, such as Kuatoa, Bullywugs, and perhaps even some shapeshifter races. The Eri were an avian creator race that ruled their own empire sometime after the Batraki declined, and are associated with many of the modern flying races, such as the Arakokra and Kenku. The Fey were also counted among the creator races, though they originally hailed from the Feywild, an alternative plane parallel to the material plane, and are responsible for many of the forest-dwelling Fey of today, such as pixies, sprites, and brownies. And last but not least, perhaps ironically, humans, who were extremely primitive at the time and almost ape-like. The Days of Thunder lasted millennia, but eventually gave way to the Dawn Age, between the years of 30,000 and 24,000 BDR. The empires of the creator races fell, and so too did many of the creator races, and into this vacuum came the dragons and giants who ruled the land for millennia, who were far more powerful than their modern counterparts are today. The giants and dragons were the true hegemons, forging massive empires at this time, and humans and other so-called lesser races were often enslaved by them. But the end of this age was precipitated by the elves creating the first Dracorage Mythal, a powerful magical effect that encompassed thousands of miles, turning the dragons on each other, and with the giants simultaneously retreating, the Dawn Age gave birth to the first flowering. A rather long period spanning the years 24,000 to 12,000 BDR, so called because it marks the ascension 
or flowering of the elves for the first time in Faerun's history. They established realms throughout the lands and refined their magic and crafts. It was also at this time that the event called the First Sundering took place in 17,600 BDR, when Elven High Magus, in an effort to create a permanent Elven homeland, overshot and rent the continent, formerly whole, asunder, killing untold numbers and forever altering the geography and topography of the land. The first flowering came to an abrupt end with the coming of the Crown Wars, the internecine political and ethnic conflict that raged between the Dark Elves and the other Elves at the time that lasted over 3,000 years and saw the creation of the Drow as we know them today. The first flowering was then followed by the Founding Time, lasting from 9,000 BDR to 3,000 BDR, a time of expansion of other demi-human races, such as the dwarves, but also marks the first real movement of humans as we know them today, and many new settlements and civilizations are established during this time, including the realm of Netheril. It was after this time that humans truly came into their own and assert their dominance, which is why the period between 3000 BDR and 1358 DR is referred to as the Age of Humanity. Netheril created and left a lasting legacy, though not only in a good way. It was, for example, the time when Karsus cast his mighty spell, Karsus Avatar, forever changing the weave, and it ended with a time of troubles in 1358 DR, which precipitated the Era of Upheaval, a rather brief epoch that lasts a little over a century between 1359 DR and 1489 DR. When gods die, the world goes topsy-turvy, and the cosmic order itself is called into question when the Second Sundering took place, and is the period of time just prior to the setting of Baldur's Gate 3, a period which began in 1489 DR, and is conveniently called the New Age. In addition to ages of history, as well as the dating system, some years in the Forgotten Realms also received names, and this is because a Netherese scholar called Agathra the Mad gave a name to each year from 700 BDR to 1600 DR, and subsequently this list of names became known as the Roll of Years, which was extended and added to by a sage named Alondo the Seer, who made some changes and filled in the gaps, because some of the original names had been lost. So for example, the year of the Balspawn Crisis, which I mentioned in the previous video, is 1369DR, and is called the Year of the Gauntlet. Now I hope this gives you a very broad overview of Realm's history, and more importantly, the dating system, so you get a sense of time and how time is understood and calculated in the Realms. As always, thank you for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps out the channel, and I will check you out next time. Take care.